guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing this video that I saw here on YouTube here recently and that is the If all my makeup was destroyed, what products would I repurchase? I'm going to go ahead and get started. I don't have any updates in this video except if you see this on my finger, I actually cut the shit on my finger today and it hurt. I thought I was going to have to go get stitches but I guess so. I guess I'm alright. I'm trying to avoid the hospital so but I just wanted to mention it because if you see it and also I know you're jealous of my hair. I can't do anything with it right now, especially since nothing's open. And this color is absolutely killing me, but that's the least of my worries. I understand the issues right now. But other than that, I don't have any updates in this video, except if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you'd like, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you can also hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get started talking about these products that I would repurchase if all of my makeup was just suddenly destroyed. So I kind of want to start off with eyeshadow palettes just because eyeshadow palettes are my favorite. So in no order, I'm going to go ahead and talk about these palettes. If they were all destroyed, I would definitely pick these palettes that I'm about to talk about. They're definitely my favorites and the ones that I reach for the most. Now if you've been here on my channel for a while and you've watched my palette collection video, I didn't film it that long ago, but I have a huge palette collection. So for me to pick these palettes out of all of them, that's really saying a lot. That means I really do love them. And again, I really do get the most use out of these palettes. So the first one I'm going to talk about is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the Jackie Ina palette. So I actually have two more palettes to talk about from Anastasia. And these are like my top three favorite palettes from Anastasia in general. But anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. I really do enjoy the packaging. It's really fun. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. The colors in here are just so pretty and so unique. It's really well curated. These colors just go so well together. I'm giving you guys a close-up. I hope you guys can see that. The formula is absolutely amazing. I know when she was talking about this palette, she said she wanted the formula to be similar to the Norvina palette, like the one in this style of packaging, and I definitely think that it is. The Norvina is one that I'm about to talk about right now, and I will tell you why, but absolutely stunning. I get a lot of use out of this, and again, this is one of my favorite palettes from Anastasia. This is definitely in my top three, and if you guys are curious, I did film a ranking all of my Anastasia palettes video so if you want to see that it's on my channel and I feel like I had maybe like 14 maybe 15 I'm not really sure but that is up on my channel if you guys want to see all of my palettes ranked from Anastasia but this was definitely one of my top three favorites and I just get so much use out of it and I feel like it was just so well done so so really really nice and if you guys can still get your hands on it I highly recommend it I know that this was discounted so I'm not sure if they still sell it I'm sure that they probably do but really really nice which that leads me to talk about the normal Vena palette from Anastasia. This is definitely one of my favorites. I feel like the metallic shades in this palette are just so different than what Anastasia has done before. These are very intense, so when you apply these on the lids, they look wet. One of the best formulas just ever in general, so this is what mine looks like. It's a little busted. It's broken. It's because I dropped it, but this is what you have going on. I'm going to try to hold it up. See, it's falling a little bit, but just a really, really solid formula. The mattes in here blend out so well, and the metallic shades, again, and just look wet on the lids. This formula is similar to the Jackie Ida palette. So really, really pretty. And I do highly recommend it if you don't own it. If you're into shades like this, I don't feel like you'd be disappointed. The formula is just really, really solid. And then the last one from Anastasia that I have to talk about is the Modern Renaissance. I have got so much use out of this. I used to wear it pretty much every day. The formula in here is really nice. And at the time when this palette came out, you didn't see a whole lot of this going on, which I feel like that's why it was so popular but the formula is really nice. Everything blends out so well. The mattes are really nice. The color selection is really nice as well. It's just a solid palette as well. So this is what you have going on again. I have hit pan and there is some major dips in some of the shapes as well. Really, really pretty. And again, these three Anastasia palettes that I have showed you, these are my top three favorites. The next eyeshadow palette that I have here to talk about is from Morphe, and this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, this is the first one. I know this is very controversial because Morphe has changed the formula since this first came out. I bought it when it first came out. I do have the one that has these shades on the back, but they have cheapened the formula just, you know, to make it easier on them, and the formula is not the same, so I've heard, and I've seen swatches. It looks pretty crappy, honestly, but I do have a good palette, and honestly, now that I've 
thinking about it, I love this palette and I'm so glad that I have it. I hit some major pan in here. I have some big dips in this palette as well, but I just now thinking of it, I wouldn't repurchase it because you can't get this formula. The formula in the new palette, it's not up to par with this one, so I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. If I could get a good one like this, I would definitely repurchase this. This is definitely one of my favorite palettes ever. You just have a lot going on in here and you have a lot of good transitions. Those red burnt shades to deepen up the crease and I love red eyeshadow. It's one of my favorite looks to do. So I have used this a ton. I have got so many pretty looks with this palette and the formula is really solid as well. But again, I would probably go on eBay and pay outrageous to get a good one because the new one is just not there. The next eyeshadow palette that I have here to talk about is a warm toned eyeshadow palette that I absolutely love. This is a newer palette to me. I wouldn't say that it's like new new, but it's not that old either. This is the KKW Beauty this is the so fire palette so this is the packaging this formula is just so unique i feel like the shadows feel so like they're almost wet feeling but they're not it's like a putty texture the mattes in here blend out so well and the metallic shades are absolutely stunning this is a well curated palette i love the tones in here this is a warm tone palette and if you don't have this and you're into warm tones i feel like you need this the formula is just so different but the metallic shades in here kindly remind me of the metallics in the norvina palette only for the fact that they look wet once they are applied to the lids. Really, really pretty. Highly recommend this palette. I love it. I have got a ton of use out of this, and I think I have mentioned this in some previous videos, but really, really pretty, and I highly recommend it. And if all my makeup was destroyed, I would definitely repurchase this palette. Now, the last eyeshadow palette that I have here to talk about is an oldie, but a goodie. This is the Tardis Pro palette. This is the first one. I do have the remix one as well. Really, really pretty. I love the packaging. I love that it's just real sleek looking. But then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. I'm going to try not to blind you guys. It has that mirrored packaging. You have your matte shadows all around here and then your metallic shades right here. Absolutely stunning. The formula on these mattes are so nice. Every time I wear this palette, I get asked what I'm wearing. But not only that, the metallic shades in here are so pretty. And you don't even have to wet them. It's only if you want to. They're very intense, I feel like. And the mattes in here just blend out so easily for me. This is just a one-stop shop palette, in my opinion. And not only that, it's just so easy to work with and you pretty much have everything that you need and you can do a lot of different looks with this palette so this is definitely one of my favorite palettes from Tarte and out of all the Tarte palettes that I own and I do own a lot of them this is the one that really calls to me this is the one that sticks out to me that if all my makeup was destroyed I would definitely go and pick this one up really really pretty and I know that you can get this at Ulta I'm pretty sure you could probably get this at Sephora but I'm not sure they always switch things up after products have been out for a certain amount of time but absolutely stunning and if you happen to not own this palette, I highly recommend it as well. So that was all the eyeshadow palettes. I know I had a lot to talk about, but like I said before, I do own a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so I had a lot to pick from. I'm just going to go straight into blushes. So the blushes that I have here, honestly and truthfully, I could just have these and be set, I feel like. There was mixed reviews on these blushes, but I absolutely love them, and I paid the full price for them. But I know that people have been finding these at like a TJ Maxx and Marshalls for a very discounted price. And these are the Too Faced Tutti Fruity blushes. I do have all of them here. Absolutely stunning. It's like a duo blush. So in some of them, you'll get like a glowy blush and more of a matte blush. And then in some of them, you'll get like a matte blush and like a highlighter shade. So I'll open up just a few here to show you. Really, really pretty. I have got along with these so well. This one is called Like My Melons. And this is what the packaging looks like. The packaging on these are really, really pretty. But not only that, the shades are stunning. So this would be like a blush topper on me unless I have a tan that I could use it as a highlight. Absolutely stunning shades. The one that I probably get the most use out of is this one right here. This is called Berries and Bubbly. So this is what the packaging looks like. Again, these do retail for $30, but if you can, I would try to find these at like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls because if I'm not mistaken, people was finding these for like $12.99 or something, which is crazy. That's like drugstore pricing and this is like a high-end product. And I'm not saying it's a high-end product because of the price and that it's Too Faced. It's just the quality is just so good. So this is what this shade looks like. I love it. And this highlighter is so pretty on me. Absolutely stunning. I actually love all of these. I feel like these are really pretty for the summer. If all of my blushes was 
was taken away from me. These are definitely the ones that I would repurchase. I love them and if I couldn't find them for the $12.99, I would definitely pay the $30 for them. That's how much I love them. Absolutely stunning. I have got so much use out of these and they have a variety of different shades to pick from and they're seven in total. Again, I do own all of them and I purchased all of mine from Ulta. Another blush formula that I wanted to mention just because is actually one that I am wearing today. I love those peachy corally blushes on me. I feel like they really do pop. This one is from Tarte and this one is called Embellished. This is a baby size. This is in my project pan. I have been trying to use my little minis up from Tarte because I have so many of them and so far I have finished two of them but this one I'm about to hit pan on. Again this is the shade called Embellished. It's just a really deep coral shade and it looks really really pretty. I love the formula of Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. They just last for a long time and they have a great amount of pigment as well and they have so many shades to pick from. Again this is in my project pan. I'm trying to use these little minis up but the full sizes retail for around the same as those Too Faced ones. So it's like $30 I'm pretty sure. Maybe just a little bit less but absolutely stunning. I love these and once I finish off these minis I'm going to go and I'm going to think about getting some of the larger size like the full size blushes from Tarte and some shades that I would wear a lot. So really really pretty. Again these are on the older side. I'm just trying to use these up. But I would definitely repurchase these blushes because I do really like the formula. I have two highlighters that I would repurchase and one is a palette and the other is just a single. So we'll start with the palette. This is also in my project pan and I pretty much finished it all but I'm still scraping the sides of it. I love this and I am going to repurchase this when I have completely finished it up. But this is from MAC and this is the Hyper Real Glow palette in the lightest shade. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's so dirty because I use it all the time. And brace yourself because this is what mine looks like. It's pretty much all gone. I'm just scraping the sides. I use up every little single bit of my products. I don't let them go to waste. I have watched so many videos where I see people showing their products that they're using in their project pan and they're like finished it but there's still like a ring of product and it kills me like I can't stand it. It gives me anxiety but I use mine to the last little bit with everything. Foundations, concealers, everything. Definitely one of my favorites. These are so intense. They don't emphasize any texture. I'm wearing it today. I pretty much use it in a lot of my videos that I have here on my channel. It just looks really pretty. It's really blinding. This one is perfect for people that have like a fair skin tone, but I think it could work on medium skin tones as well. Absolutely stunning. I just love this formula. It's so soft. It's just really smooth and it just looks really pretty on the skin. So again, if I lost all my makeup, I would definitely go and repurchase this and I'm actually about to repurchase it when this is finished. So highly recommend it and if you haven't tried it, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Now the next highlighter that I have here is actually one that I use all the time. It's definitely one of my favorites and it's become a staple product here in my collection along with that Hyper Real Glow palette from MAC. But this is from Fenty Beauty and I actually have a backup of this. I love it so much. One that hasn't even been touched. But this is the Diamond Balm How Many Carrots Highlighter. So this is what it looks like. Now if you've been here on my channel for a while then you know that I have talked about this a ton here on my channel. So this is what the product looks like on the inside. You can tell that mine has definitely been used. So it's like a putty texture and it just looks wet on the skin. But not only that, it does have glitter. So if you're somebody that you don't like glitter you may not like this but I feel like it's the most elegant glitter that I have ever seen. It just looks wet. You look like you're just glowing so I highly recommend this. I think it's really really pretty and I feel like this has done really well for the brand. I know a lot of people talk about it and they even came out with a new shade here recently. It's more like a bronzy shade I feel like but if you haven't tried this I highly recommend it. Again I do have a backup. I would definitely repurchase this in a heartbeat. It's one of my favorites and every time I wear this I always get asked what I'm wearing and it's always it is this product so I highly recommend this. I don't think you'd be disappointed if you're into those glowy highlights but again this product does have glitter. The next thing I have here is for like my contouring and bronzing and honestly this may come as a shock because I do have a lot of bronzers like singles and things like that and normally I don't like to mention palettes because when it comes to contouring palettes most of the time you can only use like one or two shades out of it but with this palette I can use all the shades and I really do love the formula. This is an older product but it works so well and I still use it to this day and I'm actually wearing it today. I use this palette pretty much every day. It's actually in my project pan as well only because it's on the older side and I don't want it to go to 
waist. But this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Light to Medium. This is just the powder version. Mine is so dirty. I used to have the cream version, but I wasn't using it, and I didn't really like it that well, so I got rid of it. But this is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. I pretty much just take like a contouring brush, and I go into all three of these shades. And the tones just work out really nice for me, and I sometimes dip into these highlighter shades as well. Really, really pretty. The formula is so easy to work with. And I feel like if you are a beginner, I feel like this would be a great option because like I said, it's very easy to work with. And this is very like pale girl friendly. So if you're in need of a good contouring shade and a good bronzing shade, I'd highly recommend this because like I said, I can use all three of these shades and it just works out so well. And it's like, you don't really have to take that much time blending it. It kindly blends itself. For a foundation, the one that I would definitely repurchase, and I have repurchased this a few times. I've been through several bottles of this, but this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum SPF 50 Foundation. It's like a tinted moisturizer, but this is what it looks like. I am almost finished. I probably have like maybe two uses, two or three uses out of this product. And like I said before, I have been through several bottles of this. I'm wearing it today. It just looks so pretty on the skin. And I feel like this is very full coverage. It covers everything that needs to be covered. And it feels very lightweight on the skin. And the best part about it is I can just use my fingers. If you guys have ever watched, like, they're trying to sell it on TV and, like, the bottles and stuff. And, like, she's rubbing it on. And they're just doing it with their hands. I didn't believe that until I actually purchased this product for myself. It works so well just with using your hands. And I don't feel the need to have, like, a beauty blender with this product. Again, it's very full coverage in my opinion. But not only that, it feels really good on the skin. I do have dry skin. And I have talked about that here before on my channel. If you guys have been here, I struggle with dry skin, but it doesn't cling on to any dry patches. It just looks really pretty on the skin and it looks just really healthy. So I highly recommend this, especially if you're somebody that you have dry skin, because I feel like this is a full coverage product, but not only that, it doesn't emphasize any texture. It's just full coverage and it looks flawless. Also, this product is really nice for the summertime because it feels so light on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. And if you're somebody like, you don't like to wear like a lot of makeup in the summer because you sweat. This is awesome. I highly recommend it. I understand the hype. I've been using this for so long now. The concealer that I would pick if I lost all my makeup would definitely be the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. So this is the one that like packaging wise is supposed to dupe the Tarte Shape Tape. And I feel like the only difference with this and the Tarte Shape Tape is this one is more hydrating, which is something that I look for while the Tarte Shape Tape is more drying, I feel like. This is absolutely stunning. This is a very full coverage concealer. Again, this is very hydrating and it just looks perfect underneath my eyes. If you guys are curious, I'm in the shade Fair Porcelain. I feel like this is probably the lightest shade that they have. It does brighten and it also just covers everything up. It looks really nice and I don't find any creasing underneath my eyes, which I do see it underneath my eyes, but I've never had any experiences with it creasing. So really, really nice. And the best part about it is it's drugstore. So if I lost some of my makeup and I went and repurchased this, I wouldn't be breaking the bank. But this is not why I picked it because of the price. I picked it because this is truly my favorite concealer like ever. And once I do finish this, I will definitely repurchase it anyway. The powder that I have here to talk about is so funny because it's so affordable. But I have been loving this powder here lately. It just works so well. And if I lost all my powders, this is definitely the one that I would repurchase. This is from Wet n Wild and this is the Photo Focus Translucent Powder. And it comes in a big tub like this. This is super affordable and it just works so well. I use this to set underneath my eyes but not only that I use it to set my whole face as well and it works really nice. You get a lot of product in here. A lot of people would probably complain and be like the packaging is big and bulky but that doesn't really bother me. I just feel like it's such a great product. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about it but it's so nice and I have been using this product for a while now. It just locks everything in and I don't look cakey so really love this powder. I love everything about it. I love that it's so affordable as well and if I lost all my powders, this is the one that I would be out repurchasing. The next product I have here is a mascara. This is a little baby mascara, but this is definitely the mascara that I would repurchase. This is the Super Fan from Smashbox, and it's just a little baby. What I like about this mascara is not only does it give me volume, but it separates my lashes as well. It's one of my favorite high-end mascaras, and I definitely feel like I would repurchase this mascara over all of them. Really, really nice. I know mascaras are like a personal thing, and if you're picky, I would definitely say get like a little baby size first to see if you 
like it, but I haven't had any problems with it. I love the way it makes my lashes look and I highly recommend this. I do have a couple more of these. Like I think I have maybe one more of these, like a backup. So really, really nice. And this has been my go-to mascara as of lately. So the next product I wanted to mention is a brow product that I would repurchase if I lost all my brow products. This is from Benefit and this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade Cool Gray. Normally I have like silver gray hair, but where the virus and stuff has been going around, I can't go and get it done right now, but I love the way this looks. I love this brow pencil. I love everything about it. It's just so skinny and it's so easy for me to get the shape that I want with it. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see. Maybe you can, but it's so easy for me to get the shape that I want. And I love the shade Cool Gray. I feel like it matches me really well, especially when I have my gray silver hair going on. The other side is a spoolie, a really nice spoolie. I can't say anything bad about this product. It locks into place. It's very easy for me to get that shape that I want, and it fills in my brows really nicely, especially in little sparse areas because, like, the tip of it is just so tiny. So, I highly recommend this. I love it. I can't say enough good things about it, and this has become a staple product in my collection. I only have two lip products that I would repurchase out of everything that I own, which is really saying a lot, and they both are nude shades. So, the first lipstick I have to talk about is one that I'm actually wearing. This is just a little baby size lipstick, but I love the shade of it. Once I finish this lipstick off, I think I'll go and purchase the full size. I love it that much. These lipsticks are pricey, but this is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this formula. It's so comfortable, and the color is just perfect. I feel like the color just matches so many people, so many different skin tones. I understand why it's like a cult classic. It's just a favorite in the beauty community because it's just so nice. The color just matches a lot of people, so I really do love it. I love the formula, and this is like a luxury brand, so it is a little more pricey, but I feel like it's worth it overall, especially if you find a shade that you're going to wear quite often and get a lot of use out of. If you find your go-to shade in a range, no matter what the price is, I feel like it's worth it because you found your perfect shade. So it would definitely be worth it to purchase it because it's like an investment, but it's something that, you know, you found your shade in. So absolutely stunning. I love it. And again, I think I will purchase the full size when I am finished with this. The last lip product that I have here to talk about is old school. This is one of the older Too Faced. What are these called? Well, I'm not sure the name on these lipsticks. I'm pretty sure they still sell these. They may not. I'm not sure. These are pretty old, but if they do sell these and all my makeup was destroyed, I would definitely repurchase this lipstick. So, this is in the old school gold packaging, and the shade that I would repurchase is called Sugar Daddy. And again, this is the gold packaging. This is what this shade looks like. I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys so you guys can see. I would have swatched the other one, but I have it like on my lips so you guys can see. I'm really into nudes. I love a good nude, but this is what it looks like. Let's see. Let me do it here. It's so pretty, and it's so moisturizing, too. It's like a pinky nude, like a pinky peachy nude, but it's it's nude. It's really, really pretty. I love this formula. I would love to get some more shades in this line as well. If they still sell these, I don't even know if they sell these. I feel like these are older, but really, really pretty. I love this shade, and I think I was wearing this in a video one day, but absolutely stunning. If they don't have these, I wish they'd bring these back because I'm somebody that I look for something that's moisturizing but has a lot of pigment and something that I can just easily throw on. So I highly recommend these if they still sell these. And the last thing that I have to talk about is just a staple product in my collection. So if I lost everything, this is something that I would definitely go and repurchase. This is the MAC Fix Plus. I use this so much. It's ridiculous. So I use this before my makeup. I use this during my makeup. I use this after my makeup. It just refreshes everything. And if you're starting to feel a little bit cakey because you put so many powders on your face, and this is good to just spritz all over. It sinks the powder into your skin. It doesn't really set your makeup or lock it into place, but it's just going to sink everything in and make it look real smooth and even. And I feel like it does give me like a subtle glow. So I love it. It's just a staple in my collection. And this is something that I have to have in my collection, especially if you're somebody you struggle with dry skin. This is definitely a must have. But other than that, that was all the products that I would repurchase if all my makeup was destroyed. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being here and liking and commenting. It honestly means the world. World and don't think that you go unnoticed because I truly see you and I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!